What is your name? My name is Palmir Caesar Dave Calisco Dingal. I am a fifth year student in the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, a PhD student in the Disher Lab. What is the best part of working at the Disher Laboratory? Um, you get to wear a lot of uh, different hats and try to look good in them. Uh, in particular, I like to look at a fascinating array of cellular processes, uh, such as stem cell derived cardiomyocytes that beat on substrates that mimic or not the stiffness of a typical heart, uh, stem cell migration to our discard like environment, and also the role of the nuclear envelope in skeletal development of chicken embryos. The other variety in the lab is the diversity of people. We got American. British, Korean, Indian, Filipino, Indonesian, you name it. It's like a Benetton ad. <laughs> so it's an it's a interesting environment for you know, discussions in scientific and also extracurricular ma matters. What was your first career choice? My love for science really grew in high school. Um, I got a uh, full scholarship to the premier high school back in the Philippines. I was exposed to the rigors of scientific thinking and research at such an early age and I was doing really well thanks to my amazing teachers and mentors. And that led me to another scholarship in Singapore to attend Nanyang Technological University. At the end of my senior year, I got two options, um, either be a worker B in the main headquarters of Toshiba in Tokyo, Japan, or attend University of Pennsylvania. Um, either option would have involved laboratory research. Um, in the end, I chose to come here to expand my horizons and get a PhD degree while doing it. How did this change in your career path get you to where you are today? I pretty much had a laser beam trajectory. I always loved to do science. And um, the downside of that is that it's hard to choose a concentration in science. So I, I had to jump around. I interned at the petroleum company. Didn't like that. I did semiconductor research, didn't find it exciting, until I got to do biology with a bit of physics and math thrown in the mix, and then it felt right. What is your thesis project about? So I study scars. Um, as an engineer, I sought to mimic scars in a dish and subject a variety of cell types, such as stem cells and macrophages. Um, and see how they respond to the scar. So the way I do this is I make hydrogel substrates and incorporate a collagen into them and basically uh, self-assemble scars within the hydrogel. And so when you add the cells on the surface of the hydrogel, you create this local gradients and stiffness that are similar to scars. And so uh, with this um, scar in the dish, I can then look at the different uh, cellular responses and try to um, and try to change the response based on uh, different um, chemical or mechanical perturbations. How far do you want this thesis project to go? The lessons I've learned in this lab, ultimately I want to apply to translational research. One of the promising uh, therapies out there is to use stem cells as a cellular therapy for regenerating tissue. And this is one of the most important, um, this is one of the most important fields that has promise in solving a lot of diseases. What advice would you give to those who are exploring your career in the field? Well, the main advice I would give is um, that you need a whole lot of curiosity and somehow transmit that to motivation and especially perseverance in such an, uh, an open-ended venture. Um, indeed, some of the stories from my mentors in the scientific community, um, they always have a common trait. That is lightning quick intuitive thinking and more importantly, hard work.